<laughs> Alabama, Central Time Zone. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back to episode nine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, our drive wasn't bad. No, it no, was pretty was... short from Tallahassee to Alabama. I think it was around two hours. A lot of bridges, if I remember. A lot of bridges. Yeah. Um, drove past Pensacola and we saw the sign that instead of saying welcome to Alabama, it literally said welcome to Sweet Home Alabama, <laughs> which made me very happy. Yes. Um, we drove through a really small town. Where we stayed was kind of in the foot of Alabama, so we didn't yes. really go up or anyway. So from Florida. We were kind of in the panhandle of Florida, and then we went to the foot of Alabama. So it wasn't really a long drive. We were still near the Gulf. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't wind up making it to the beach there, but yeah. we, we want to check out Orange Beach next time. We wish we could spend more time in Alabama. Yeah, yeah. You'll, um, you'll see why I'd, we weren't able to uh, check that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we drove through a really small town and wondered yes. if, uh, briefly, if we were back in Lancaster. Yeah, yeah. As we're driving through, Ashley looks up at the signs and she goes, whoa, whoa, check that out. Everything was labeled in, like, Pennsylvania Dutch or German in design and font style, that, like, yeah. old Fractor style font. Um, even the road sign for Main Street was in this, like, Germanic yeah. font, and it's like... That's not normal for a street sign. That's not very readable. It felt very like Pennsylvania Dutch out of nowhere. It was so weird. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, our campground was easy to find. Yes. It, you couldn't fly there because it was near a it Navy was, base? Yeah, there was a, um, a naval base nearby. And basically, I I turned the drone on. Um, this is kind of like good on DJI's part. Uh, turn the drone on, get, get all ready to fly. And it just goes like, no, you can't take off. This, no, if you if you fly here, you will get shot down. You know, like something like mm -hmm. that. So, um, yeah, it uh, it kept me safe there, which is good. But uh, this was our first campground that we didn't have a camp host and didn't yes. have anybody there to like greet us and show us where to go. It was just yeah. kind of like on the honor system that you parked in the spot that you reserved. Yeah. yeah. Um. That was the. Uh, it was one long strip, right? And yeah. at the end was kind of like that that bar place that it was like a, a public area. Yeah. Um, we had to drive all the way down the one end, make a, a fairly tight, tight turn. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wrote that it was the tightest U turn we've ever made with the trailer attached. Tiny little cul de sac. Because that, I didn't realize that there was no one there to welcome us. We just kind of had to call once we got set up and let them know we were yeah. checked in. Yeah. It's a little <laughs> odd. But, Very um, odd. No gate, nothing. Um, so you could probably just go there and camp for free if you wanted to. No one would really <laughs> notice as long as you, no one came up and needed that spot. I guess so. Eh? Maybe maybe because it was just the off season, but like, I'm yeah, not sure. It was kind of it's kind of odd. Um, yeah, I think it was called the Alabama spots though. That Alabama nice. Coast Campground. Yeah, our spot was huge. Yeah. Um, basically, they had a setup where there were two pull throughs. Um, on either side, so ours we pulled through from the main road and pulled all the way up to like a little U behind it, mm -hmm. and the other person would go up to the U and then pull through the other way. So they were like all the way down here, and we were all the way up here, so we weren't really like ne next to another trailer, even though there was yeah. someone next to us. Worked out well, it like um, staggered the trailers really well, and it kept all the hookups on the same side, so you weren't really yeah. facing another trailer until about I don't know what 30 feet out maybe yeah probably we had a really nice big area with a picnic table and um, just a lot of space so I, I made use of that when I had dance yeah 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 that was a good spot it was nice and spacious easy to pull through it was already pretty well graded I think I think we had we had to put blocks on the one side maybe, maybe. yeah I don't remember but that's not a big deal it was a uh, drizzling when we got there but we uh, got it all set up even yeah. though yeah. it was raining ran out and got your Amazon packages at that's right. the GNC yeah. and we discovered the town of Foley yes Foley is basically what would you say similar to Hershey it has yeah. the it has a big central amusement park OWA and that's right, that's that place right. also had a concert venue and a water park um, it was basically just a giant entertainment setup so between OWA and the Tanger outlets it's it's pretty much the Alabama version of Hershey yeah, yeah it's <laughs> like 
big spread out kind of like entertainment area where you yeah. can go to a movie, you can go to restaurants, you can go to you know amusement park, like Ashley said, like all kinds of different things. Um, it was very interesting. Um, we called them up to see if I could fly around there like after hours or anything like that. And they were I just like, no. nope, nope, hard no, no drones. And I was like, oh, okay, that's easy. So <laughs> um, we we just kind of like we, we went and visited the one time just because we got food at a location there. Yeah, right? you wanted Chinese food. So I, we found the one that had sweet and sour chicken oh, because that's what I like. It was good there, wasn't it? I think I think that was the place that you really liked the the sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, the place in Florida was weird. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They had like it was it was basically just like regular chicken. Yeah. Like they yeah, did it, it wasn't different way. It wasn't like battered in that way. Yes. Yeah. I like the battered crispy chicken over yeah. the right white rice and then the little dip in sauce. <laughs> mm. So yeah, we got some food there. Um well, that wasn't that night, though. That was, um... Yeah, that was the night that we got... Oh, really? Yeah, your okay. Amazon packages. We ran around and got right. Chinese. Gotcha. And then, uh... mm mm OWA, Tanger Outlets. Oh, 41 degrees out. It was a little chilly there. Oh. Um, gas was only two ninety eight a gallon, though, so we were very excited right. about that. To yeah. To have some cheap gas. So, gas first time was, it got below $3, I yeah, think. Yeah, gas was cheap all the way through San Antonio, I think, was the last time we had real cheap gas. It's yeah. starting to go up now. Yeah, no, The more like, north we go. It's like, I, I've seen like three thirty now. Mm-hmm. So, it's, yeah, it's going up. Um, But anyway, our first day in Central Time Zone, and we fell asleep around 8 p.m. Yeah. Took a nap, and then wound up staying up real late. Yeah. Yeah. So. That really happened. messed up our sleep schedule on top of the uh, the, the time zone change. I wrote, is this jet lag? <laughs> Hello, central time zone. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> a little bit of a rough transition. Um, Next day was real windy. Right, yeah. It was up to 20 miles per hour consistently with gusts up to 45. So we were feeling the trailer shake a little bit there. Yeah. Um, as we ate breakfast and planned our day. Um, That was the day that... We were looking for things to do the following day. Yes. So we uh, found Bama Henge, and we mm -hmm. found um, the dinosaur park. Oh, we wound up walking around the little Pennsylvania Dutch town, Alberta. Yeah. Um, I couldn't pass that by. We needed to do like a small town charm kind of shoot. Yeah. Um, Walked around and get a bunch of photos. It was the next town over. It was like a 15 minute drive, not even. We have a, we have a POV there, don't we? We will have a POV there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It was the uh, quintessential small town. Nothing was open on Sunday. Their restaurants had quirky and unique titles like the Roadkill Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> um, which was temporarily closed due to COVID or else we probably would have eaten there just for the uh, yeah. no novelty of it all. Absolutely would have tried that out. <laughs> um, the buildings had facades on the front to give them shapes to stand out. And Main Street was the only traffic light in town. So I think that it was smaller than Nutripoli. Was that the place where I flew um, I flew the Tiny Go throughout that? There was kind of like a, an Achoo. open abandoned building? No. Or was that... Um... We already talked about that in a previous video. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Really? Okay. I think that was in Georgia. Oh, wow. Oh. You getting your places mixed up, boy? No, I thought I thought it was Alabama, the, the little town, um, uh, little town at sunset that had like um, there was one corner that had like ornaments set up. There wouldn't have been ornaments at this point in time. Yeah, I know. It was it was, it was after Christmas. I, I, okay, maybe I'm remembering a different spot than this. Um, this is where you got your drone stuck in the park in the gazebo. Oh, that's this place. Ah, crap. Okay, I was yeah. Just telling you about Jesus. that. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking. I was thinking it was a different place where I flew through the abandoned building, but this is no. where I was flying around a park. It was a cute little town. Um, Very cute town. Yeah, super cute. And then um, as as everything was closing, like it was, it was kind of almost starting to get everything dark. Everything was already closed anyway. It was Sunday. That's right, yeah. Um, well, I guess the, the hardware store was still open. Um, oh, yeah. The eight, there Check was, there what, for... a Dollar General and Ace Hardware, and then Lowe's yes. was about 10 minutes away. Yes. Uh, so, 
The reason why I know Ace Hardware was open is because um, as I'm flying around, everything's, you know, everything else is closed. Everything's, everyone's going home. It's a little bit chilly out and stuff. It's a little windy. Yeah. Uh, so I'm flying around this, uh, this park and it wasn't so windy that the drone was getting kicked around like crazy. Um, but it was windy enough that when I flew into this pavilion, the, the wind would die out when you'd go above the rafters, right? So it was, it was a bit of a weird transition there, like a windy, kind of breezy spot to still air. Um, and so I'm flying around this thing and, um, I of course bonk into the wall and go careening into the softening, which is like, yep. it was like a basket. Like it was set up so that like, uh, the bottom of the, of the, um, is that softening up there? Mm, That's a, Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like that was all, uh, closed on the bottom, but it had an open area on the inside where you could fall oh, into it. Um, so I get it stuck and I'm trying to I'm trying to knock it out. Uh, Ashley comes back and I'm frantically trying to climb onto a bench and yeah. you know leap up onto the thing and uh, yeah, I just I couldn't physically no. do it. You were trying to scale like cinder blocks that had no finger grip places. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just trying to climb the wall and I think I like ripped out a chunk of my nail. That wasn't fun, but um then our my next idea was to grab a, a C stand from out of the truck. Yeah. And attach the Insta360. Insta360 because it's magnetic. It's got a little magnetic mount. Attach that to the C stand and then use that to look and and you're, poke at the thing to try and move it. You know. Yeah, you're trying to link it on the end of the. Yeah, even even if I could just get it unstuck so I can flip it over and fly it out of there. Yeah. You know, that that would at least work. But um, I'm poking around, and of course the Insta360 falls in there too. Because these stands aren't as magnetic as we thought. Yeah. Do you want do you want to give your interpretation of this? I feel like He's I'm obsessed with this little thing, and it just yeah, it was just a dumb dumb thing for him to be flying around the inside of a gazebo. Um, it looked really cool. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I posted the footage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good content. Um, so we were trying. It was getting colder and colder and darker. Yep. And it's starting to fall. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there watching the stuff. He's freaking out. Um, <laughs> you were you were like really upset about yeah, this I, whole thing. Well, yeah, it was it was kind of a dumb move on my part. So I was like, you know, kicking myself for it. But then I'm also in the back of my head. I'm thinking. Well, like, I can't turn this drone off. So, like, what happens if the lipos run out? And, like, what if they puff up and, and burst or something? Like, what if this gazebo catches on fire because of me? I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that that's what could have happened. I think in mm -hmm. order to make your lipos catch on fire like that, you have to be, like, using them at full throttle. Actively trying to use them. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like, I didn't know what happens when a lipo drains completely. No clue. So I was just like in my head freaking out about this thing. And I decided to run around town asking passersby <laughs> if they had a ladder. Um, I talked to this one guy and he seemed um, minorly alarmed by me. Uh, but <laughs> it was very nice. He chatted with me anyway. And, and he said, you know, maybe Ace Hardware has some. So I was like, oh, good idea. Ran over to Ace Hardware. They didn't have a ladder in the entire building. Yeah. Apparently. Which was weird. I was like, you guys don't even have a ladder for like like putting stock up on the top shelves and they're like no we don't have it and i'm like okay all right cool uh they were very nice though we tried um, dollar general tried dollar general same thing no we ladders tried there. the fire station it was closed we tried yeah, calling yeah. the local police number no answer Tried calling the fire station on several different numbers oh like, yeah yeah oh my god I, I was about to call the national guard um <laughs> i was calling everyone um so we were in the truck <laughs> About to drive to Lowe's 10 minutes away just because we knew we could at least buy a ladder at Lowe's. Buy a ladder, return use it. it, and then return it. And we wound up running into the fire truck returning yeah. to the station <laughs> right as we were about to leave. And we were like, hey, can you help us? They were so nice. They were like, yeah, sure. Um, so the three guys they were super cool. yeah. got out their ladder and they thank retrieved you. the things. <laughs> so thank you, um, Alberta fire yes i don't know if you guys were volunteers or workers but thank you guys were nice alberta Ooh. fire co we appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> made my night we've got some photos oh from that my actually gosh. i yeah. think captured the embarrassment well um, <laughs> i'll have to find that 
Um, but after an exciting day, we were ready for an evening of old movies and work. Yes. It's time to relax after that. Um, so I worked in Central Time Zone. Uh, it was weird getting used to my new schedule of like 7.30 to 4. Yeah. It's still weird. It's still weird. It's, it's about a month later and it's still weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> felt early the first day, but it wasn't bad. I'm starting to realize it's still early and mm -hmm. it is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just get drained from getting up before, like, 8.30 in the morning. It's, yeah. It's rough. But, uh, we're, we're, we're working through it. It's happening. <laughs> um, so we were gonna do some exploring, and we made it to Bama Henge. Yes. Which is kind of like a recreation of Stonehenge. Um, yeah. It's not exact. Not all the stones are there. Um, and there was supposed to be like a dinosaur park nearby, but we checked out Bama Henge, got mm -hmm. some cool photos, and you flew around. I flew around. I tried to find those dinosaurs in the woods. Yeah, we didn't wind up finding them. We were gonna drive yeah. around, but you felt sick to your stomach. Yeah, I was I was uh, flying around and like I kind of knew it as I started to put the headset on. I was like, oh my, I feel a little bit, little rumblies in my thumblies and didn't feel good. Um, so I was just like, okay, well, like, see what happens, get up in the drone. And as I'm, as I'm flying around, like I started off real smooth and cinematic and just chilling. And then I started to do some, some sort of flips and some turns. And as I'm doing those, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. and it just like, it started to get real, you know, started to get real. Um, <laughs> so, um, I killed that battery and, uh, came down and landed and Ashley by that point had come back and I'm like, Hey, Hey, babe. Can we go home? <laughs> uh, um, you did not say it like that. Uh, no, I felt like that though. I, I was feeling gross and shaky, so mm -hmm. we uh, we cut and run that that yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> so we were gonna check out the dinosaurs. We were gonna check yes. out Orange, Orange Beach. Orange Beach. Orange Beach. And we didn't make it there. Yeah. Um, we just had to give you a little rest day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I needed a, a day to settle myself. So stomach. I wound up figuring out what I wanted to do in Texas in February and yeah. found out that the San Antonio Rodeo was coming to town when we were going to be there. Woo. <laughs> and I got tickets and I was very, very excited about that. Um, and that happened while we were in Alabama that mm. I bought the tickets. You made my Valentine's Day uh, easy. That was, yeah. Thank you. Good easy for choice. Me. <laughs> Ash is like, just take me to the rodeo, please. Yes. Just that was make all it I a, wanted. A rodeo day. And I'm like, I can do this. It was the best Valentine's Day ever. <laughs> um, yes. So we we chilled in Alabama. We want to go back to Alabama and see more. We were only yep. there three days. Yeah. Um, short trip there but um, yeah it's cool like to see more of the state would like to check out the Gulf in Alabama mm -hmm. um, Foley looked like a really cool town yeah I definitely wanted to like so, walk around more of the towns and just do like photo walks in the areas so Alabama we're coming back for more yep we're coming for you <laughs> see you next time Alabama yeah thanks for watching everybody um, definitely check out the links down below um, Ashley's been posting our, our map down there Yeah. Uh, of all the different places that we've been so far. Um, also links to our, the, the gear list on there. Oh yeah, the gear list is on there. Gear Any sites there. that we stay at, um, either posting, we have an affiliate link for a thousand trails and hip camp. This site yes. was neither of those. This site was through reserve America, which is usually oh. how you reserve like state parks. Right. Um, I don't think it was quite, it wasn't a state park, but it was on reserveamerica.com. So I'll post that link down below. Cool. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you next time. Where are we going next time? Mississippi. Mississippi. See you there. Peace. Peace.